What's up, everyone? It's Paintbrush here and Silver Spoon here. Welcome to another NBA playoffs on 2K Sports. If you're waiting on for the NHL 24, we appreciate you supporting you to have you as your patience. But we have our first game that's coming up on the way. We're ready to start things under with our first two in the matchup in the Eastern Conference. The Philadelphia 76ers are ready to take things on to face against the Boston Celtics. Now this is where we're ready to, to get things back in the run. This is the last one. Win or go home for Philadelphia Sixers. And if this team wins, they will be moving on to face against the New York Knicks. As they are awaiting their current spot right now to face against the next team. Their current seed is the fifth seed. And now it's time to find out who takes the next win. Kyle Lowry's on Drew Holiday. Tyrese Maxey on Derek White. Dan Kelly Uber Jr. here on Jalen Brown. Tobias Garris is on Jason Tatum. And Juwan B. the process is on KP. Chris Stapps for Zingas. And now it's time to send you down. I have Tyler Beast. And he's also along with some other commentators as well. He's also along with the ultimate other you know for Boomer and Clover. Animal Force will be on the sideline on its way. Let's get started. So we'll see you all later for the post game show on the other side. Let's roll. All right, let's check out your top players in the game, as you will be seeing one of each games in between for the top players of the week. And here's a look how they did it and find out who they are. And you'll see who that is. Let's see who gets the win and gets in with your top votes. Let's get going. Starting at the right. Fly Life Retro does this one with the better same thing and over on the other outside and putting it right into the dome. And it goes the other way that does this. And then for the last part of it, he goes the really deep top court. And it goes with all your pass and bang, it just went like this and the back. At the right, the same location, but the option B is the King of Box 66. He does a little bit of defending of the defense, and he does his like this. He puts it over and pushes the riser in the middle. He all goes all the way down and then tries to defend it, but this one was no option. Here's another one for you. Option C, it's A Mike Story. He does what he does, he makes this one like living. And watch this. Up and overpass and dip your hand in the donkey. He is a lovable unstoppable on the game, and he does it all. And your final option at the rack, wrapping up to bring you here, is Short Dog X. He makes it constantly, and what he does this, watch out. He does this way, and go with a skill, and I go big tight in moments. You have your top option in between. Of those four, let's see who you can take for. And it's a pretty good option, Scary. You can be the next one on 2K TV Wild Moment. I'm ready to get back on the court. Let's see who else can take over. And now, time for playoffs. Later. And these are your starting lineups. Kick back and relax and ready for game five in Boston Arena. Welcome to Game 5. I'm Tyler Beast and I'm here with my broadcasting partner with Clover Beat Clover and of course we have his boomer. Standing by is Ellie LaForce for tonight's game. The matchup is in between of those hands and we are ready to see who can move on to the next round. As right now, these are currency lineups in between. Key matchups in between of Tatum and Demias Garrett. Ellie Kelly Uber Jr. and he's with on other on the on Jim Brown. And across from here we have is Ollie Paul, Drew Holiday on Tyrese Maxi. Then Derek White, East with on, East with on the airplane on the all call for Kyle Lowry. And finally we have Tate, we have a center man, Kim Staff Porzingis on Joel Embiid. And Kelly Uber Jr. with Jalen Brown. We're all set, ready to get this thing started. And inside a drive, we'll start off with Jason Tatum. Tatum has his first bucket in the game. The previous matchup, it doesn't happen to be all of them at the currency at the same time. They made this one a lot challenging. They give that one a great look. But the Jason Tatum just sound like he wants to end their game in game five and get right into the game. Gives a three to Myas Harris. 
that first three quarter goes in the off the ball. And Derek White will have the ball, now finding it over again for Steph Rosinas. Gives it over again, now finding Jalen Brown. Jalen Brown, right in the drive, and it's set up layer of this good. Brown's got his first bucket of the game. You know, I really like to talk about Jalen Brown. He's really like a defendant on this set. They're making this one a lot of hard, tricky emotions. But I really like, and he does a lot of his better offense, his layup skills, he's turning out to be just excellent, and all does happen now. He's like a hard. Yeah, I definitely do what I have to say about this one, McCormick, but that's what I always know about. Make that lucky on drive. Yeah, you can call it that. Here's Drew Holiday, now finds Jason Tatum, right over into the wing of the center of the three-point line. Here's the outside, three-pointer for Drew Holiday. This one misses out on the outside as Drew B with his first rebound. And Kyle Lowry will have it again to Oubre Jr. Passes back to Lowry. Lowry right turning it back in, and now he'll try to find it off in the middle of the three for Maxi. This is the outside of the corner, and this one will be right with the rebound. He's over inside, finding Jason Tatum. Tatum finds Christophe Porzingis with a shot. Ah, a solid defensive effort by Joel Embiid. Joel Embiid with the second rebound. Now here's Kyle Lowry. Lowry trying to look it over. He finds a pass to Joel Embiid. Maxi rolls it back. Tries to put it in there with the two. That goes in and out. Derek White with his superb rebound. No, that's not what you're always going to track out, bro. So, because of the rolling beat, he's been really like trying to get this thing over and, and done. And, you know, it's just not what they always expected. You know? And this may have been the constipation. They're really trying to let that one go to work. The relevance is not putting in there. Foul's called on the previous stack for Zinkius with his first personal foul and a first team foul for the Celtics. Now they're not really well. I'm just saying that the layup drive is just going to get there too long and too short. He's trying to get this one in there, but that's not how you start things up when you get there. Well, I have a little aggression right now. Joel and Dean might be thinking of Tobias Harris. He might be stepping up for a three. Four for two, three for us. I mean, and this might be an option. That may not be just the happening ones, but they can find someone else. First free throw is good, here for Tobias Harris. You know, you say about Tobias Harris, after playing with the Clippers, he now wants to start things over and he wants to go on the other team. Just realizing that there might have been a hard way to do this, but now he's starting another curriculum. Again, again. And the second free throw is good for Tobias Harris. Make it uncomfortable, and that might be not what they are all going for. They're going to make sure they have that up in here set up well. Here's Drew Holiday. He now finds it over again to Derek White. And he has it now over now to Drew Holiday again to Drew Bail Brown. Brown now has it over again to Drew Holiday trying to find some open luck. Here's a chance. Tatum with the screen for KP. And a layup for JT. And a layup for today. JT with his third bucket of appearance, his fourth second bucket in game five against the Sixers. Now that's four. And here comes Embiid, stepping about, watching out for the travel. And it's rebounded here by Chris Fortinas. Now finds the pass over again, over to White. White, open look for KP. Makes the three, outside the range, they up by four. Gotta get down with a good friend now, KP, what do you know? I like that. Everybody loves KP. That's what you always say about when you play for, for one of your teams. It's good for the best. Oh, what a big step and drive for Jalon B. He has his first bucket of appearances. You look at the stats right now. That's what you've always been looking at. You just have to play it for once. You have to play it for twice. And you can't let the sun get in there. You're not going to let that one here score on baby. you got to make sure you have that one right. It's all right now. Finds again to Derek White with four minutes going by. And Tatum for the three. Triple range outside. JT with his first three quarter. He has seven points this game. Hey, let's live it up there. Jason Tatum. What a star. Philadelphia's and the Sixers call timeout. We're going to four minutes to go. Hey, let's try to have that one in there. I think the Knicks and the Celtics are going to be a great matchup in between. Now you're looking at it over here across the Nick Nurse. He's trying to make this winning here. A Crazy easier look here, and the better offense is now putting up a terrific, terrific motion. How about one all coming down? 
and this is what they always expected of the Nick Durst making a new line change and with some a little bit of an offensive and defensive settling along the boards in between the zones. Yeah, I mean, I guess that Nick Nurse might be okay with that, but I'm hoping the next contract might keep him longer. Uh, until there is, I don't know what you mean. Yeah, it might be a little, eh, well, we'll see. It's just great enough. I, I really like how the coaches are giving the examples. They want to show them off the court. They want to make it easier, man. Yeah. Yeah, it's just really easy now. Yeah. I mean, Joe Mazzula, he's really like playing all of his pressure, and he's looking like he's finding someone within that alignment and change. Hoping there's another changing that they can go to pull up. Now is the new line changes right now, as our couple of player teams are making new changes on offense and defense. And now, Uber Jr. will have it over to carry out tonight's season. Mr. Wallen D, he's right over to get to Uber Jr. Blue Boy Jr. for three. Nobody around him, and it's another three pointer miss by Philadelphia. Porzingis now finds again to Jalen Brown. Brown with the finishing layup, and it's good. Jalen Brown with the second bucket. 14 seconds to score with 3.30 to go. Make that little good drive now. I mean, Jalen Brown just got to fight the floor. Joel Embiid finds again to Joel Kakao Lowry. Right over in towards the wing. Slice it back. Over now again to Uwe Jr. Uwe Jr. again to Kyle Lowry. Fade off with the shot. He tries to put it in there. Looking for some out of a room with the shot. And this one has been ticked over. Great D by Drew Holiday. You know, Drew Holiday might be getting in there. He might have it all of them to try to lose it out. And here's Holiday. He's now over and backing again to Jason Taylor. Okay, to the shot. It's good. Jason Taylor with 9 points. 16 7 to score. Drew Holiday with the assist. Got to keep that one going in there. Drew Holiday has a number of look with his assist. And here's Tobias Harris on the outside. He will try to give it over to Wallen B with the screen. And here's the cutting for the two, and he's fouled. That's on Chris Apple's with his second personal foul. And that will be the second personal, second team foul for the Celtics. You're never going to make the drive out there. That needs to get a little bit. It's pure emotion. It's just not really easy enough because Tobias Harris, he's at two for two of the free phone. He might have to just get in. First free throw sent in with Tobias Harris. Now with some new line change right now. Paul Reed checked in for Joel Embiid. Kelly Rebrace Jr. comes off the court as right now the two checked on. Buddy Heal checked in for Darius Maxey and Melton checked in for Kyle Lowry. Drew Holiday is checked out as Peyton Butcher checked in. Sam Houser checked in for Jason Data. Al Horford, he's with, trying to check in for a uh, player of all call for Jalen Brown. And finally, we have is Moore Senior checking in for Chris Porzingis. And now here's Butcher, he will start things over. Is it ever again? Not finding Houser. Tries for a triple. First three quarter can at the mark. Well, it might not be easy enough, but you gotta make sure you have that one settled in. Another pass. Calls it. Screen and pick off look. The finding back again to heal with two minutes going by in the first. For the two. Trying to pick up a rebound, and this one has been picked up here for Buddy Heal. And Peyton Pritchard will call timeout. Oh, I think you're going to have to make a little, little new change off there anyway. Not so good if you can get there. And we'll stick around here. Buddy Hill with a better rebound and a performance effort puts it up. Well, there might be a chance there to go back in. Now with some new line to substitution. That's right now. The players are already checking in there right in between. And now Pritchard will have it over again, finding White. White's trying to switch it over to get a pitcher. Pitcher finds it over to get a Tillman Senior. Tillman Senior is up, and that two-pointer is stopped again by Paul Reed. Paul Reed with his first rebound of the game. He's off to Tobias Harris. Tobias Harris now finds Batum, and now finding over again to Melton. Here's Batum, right towards the outside, pass it again to Melton. Here's Batum for three, and he will sink the triple into the outside. 
16-14 game with 1.20 to go. And now is it already going to White? White, find a pass. It's stolen by Batum. And here's Butt, and here's Buddy Heal. Three for Milton. Baseman sinks a triple on the outside. Zion called by Celtics with 106 to go. Well, that's going to be a little bit challenging now. I mean, they're just missing every three points of the game. I have to point out that there's no choice. Your line change right now. Here's the number, number change off. If Ryan Alpert will try to hold things on, and now he has it over it again, trying to go back to the line. He now finds a pass over it again to Tillman Senior, and here's a take, and a layup is way too strong. Ball move, an excellent defensive best effort, and now Melton gets to get the buddy deal. Here's a pass to Reed, and then Reed makes a dunk. Reed trying to silence the crowd, they were up by three. And here's Derek White. On the outside. Now finds again to Peyton Pritchard. Pritchard puts again away, takes the triple, and this one is missed. Off the board, and it goes back to Reed. He's got on Payne with 30 seconds left to go in the first period. He's over in towards the wing. Watson from here. Here's Nicholas Batum. Nicholas Batum for the baseline, and it's missed over. Now finds the pass again to White, and over now again to Dylan Senior. Here's Hauser. Also trying to give over to Anatolian Senior and Peyton Pritchard with nobody to go with and he makes a three. Now it's a tie game with 19. Oh, uh, they're making some a little bit, just a little start, so I'm going to have to play. We need to go for some more. And this one will be knocked out from half court and no shot to kick. That will end the first quarter tied up. 19 for the Sixers and 19 for the Celtics. We need to let that one keep on scoring big, but let's hope they get more. Second quarter is coming up after this. And if you're just tuning in, we're ready to get this thing started for the second quarter. Close game on the range right now for the, for the Sixers and the Celtics. This is a rival team, and they've happened already in the last postseason. Off to you guys, what's your take? Well, it's going to be one way. I think Boston Celtics will try to lead it earlier to take a run. Well, that might be my guess. I mean, let's hope there is. We start things up in the second quarter. Right now, it goes through all day. He's on my time. He's Maxi. KB is on Joel and B. Jason Tatum, he's with on the other player again. As right now, he is with Kelly Bray Jr. And Horford, he's on Tobias Harris. Man across on the other side is Jalen Brown on Buddy Beals. With the take in the setup. Here's Ali LaForce. She talked to one of the uh, coaches of the players of the night, and now I got it over to give some another new competition that got the look. With the rival games, it's not always an easier look to have it settled in. Well, you can tell now. I mean, that's what you're expecting to do. It's really making this a hard setup. The better transition is what they're doing for you. And for Bill Mazzola and Nick Nurse, they both have a little bit of a switch off, change off, and they Shot and it's good. It takes a two-pointer in. They're off by two. 21 to 19 is the score. Uh, just looking at it. I think we can just try to keep on going. Now he finds a pass again to Uber Jr. Here's Uber Jr. He will try to have it over in the center. A solid performance by Jason Tatum. Tatum's got his first rebound. 6-3 left to go in, in the second period quarter, and now finds over. Now finds it over to Ian Brown. Over up her head, here for this out for Zingas. Gives it over again to Drew Holiday. Here's a three for Al Horford, and he sinks a triple. That will be his first three-pointer for Al Horford. And it's now 24-19 game. Well, just let it rain. This is like going over the rainbow. And here's another one for Buddy Gilly. He will try to dish it over. And over the here's Maxi. That's good. It makes a three-pointer. Try to watch it for double man, but it just went. Didn't help it at all. Well, you gotta make sure you have that one switching in there if you have a little bit of difficulty. Don't take it too much if you have it. Jason Dana, what a stepping down. 
And that's when you pump the big guy out of here. And then you got, you just said, you don't belong in here right on the paint. Oh my! Jason Tatum almost must have had that push in there. I mean, he wants to have his own spot. How can that be a thing? Time off going by the Philadelphia 76ers with 541 to go. It's just how the start is. You got to make that one believe it. The NBA playoffs on 2K Sports is brought to you by your local Kia dealers. A moment that inspires. Sour Patch Kids. Sweet Sour Dog. And by Starry Lines. Changes for the Celtics and for the Sixers. Right now, Kelly Newport Jr. will have some help here as Cyrus Maxey moves it over and Kyle Lowry's back on court for starting five. And for the Celtics, as right now, Kyle Lowry and the teams are back on the court. Trying to make some new changes here. Leaves the tape to Wayne Sayers, missing three. Now he has it over again to Brown. Brown trying to make his way now for Porzingis. He's the three for Holiday. Solid performance in. A three-pointer mix in for Drew Holiday. Well, they're shooting threes. I mean, Drew Holiday, he has nowhere to go. Seems like they don't want to have some time. You have to look for another good look and open offense. You got to make sure and have it in there. The right timing. They just have that one. They want to shoot first team foul. Foul's called on Jalen Brown. That'll be his first personal foul. And the first team foul falls on Boston. Just take it easy right now with Jalen Brown. I mean, you got to watch what you're doing. They don't have another take, but no idea where they're going. Through the three, Lowry missed it for a triple range outside. He now finds Holiday again to Porzingis. Here's a look, Jalen Brown inside. The layup is in. Brown's got six points in his game. Porzingis with the assist, 31 22 to score. Yeah, everybody's loving Celtics and Stab Sixers. Here's a 4 2. And it's missed again by Tobias Harris. Jason Tatum now finds Brzezinkis. Give and go look to Warford. Off with the shot and goes in. And Warford with seven points in this game. Looks like he's on the score. I mean, wow. You gotta believe on him. Two pointer for Maxi. That will sink it in there, but now it's a three pointer. 418 left to go in the first half of the game. It's right now 33 to 25 to score. I got a little bit of a hard gun. Hopefully they can definitely try to keep a win right under it. They can do it. Here's Drew Holiday. Tries to find a pass to Brown. Brown. Brown gives it over to Tatum for two and goes in. Jason Tatum with 13 points. We're under four minutes to go with Jalen Brown with the assist. Now, this is what they're taking. If you know for Jalen Brown, you got to make that win a lot harder to get. And here he comes, Jalen Brown to finish the drive, and he'll take it in. Jalen Brown's got eight points this game. 37-25 to score, 11 rolling up. I love rolling up. They're really starting to go on the freshman. Tobias Harris to Joel and this one is off the shot, right behind the back. Squish out for Zingas, has the ball. Give it to Drew Oliver. Rolling it in, finds Al Horford. Step back for two. This was no good. That's rebounded by Tyrese Maxey. You just have to keep it in there if you try to get that one two pointer and make a step back. And he makes a step back. He does have the two pointer. They're back down by 10. Eight points in this game against the Celtics. Drew Holiday now finds it again to Jason Tatum. On a finish drive, and he's fouled. Kelly Oubre Jr. with his first personal and her first team foul is on the Sixers. Well, they're just trying to let that one do out. Jason Tatum, he's like trying to drive it in there. He wants some more full power. That first year, I didn't really think he was going to carry it. The first trip to the free throw line will be Jason Tatum for the Boston Celtics, who had three minutes to go. Trying to looks like they were wanting to get this one three-pointer done. 
for two quarter to have that one scoring in big to extend it up by 12. And the first free throw settles in for Jason Taylor. From University of Duke, he's playing like real man. Yes, that's definitely what they all expect of right now. I mean, gotta let that one keep on cool. You know, cool. I mean, Jason Tatum, he's really like proud of it. As all five players checked out, Portrait, White moves over, Brown, Tatum, and Chris Porzingis are making new changes here. The Stillman Senior is on the court. And he has that one in there for a second. Build up via Drone by 12. Tyrese Maxey, right over now again to Melton. Melton on Jason Tatum. With a screen pick, he's a 3 4 Tyrese Maxey. He'll have it back. And for the 3 will send a one handed dunk down. Now back to a 10 point game with only 2.30 to go. He finds down to White. On a throw down, puts a one handed dunk in. He's just right now. I mean, that's a high flyer Celtic plan. And you got to slam it through. I really like that. <laughs> Derek White is just like amazing. I just have to say it too. He's excellent. What a block by Brown. Unbelievable. The Brown's right over in toward the corner. He now finds it again to Jason Taylor. Taylor. Sucks it for two. This is again. Two minutes. And here's Mel and a word against Maxi. He will finish the dunk, dunk, dance, and what a mate. Now, I don't know what Maxi was doing. I mean, that Called Pride, I mean, nothing we really care. And that was an excellent replay presented by AT&T, the 5D Slam Care. Just take for Derek Gray, and he steps it in, he's fouled by D.F. and he With nearing under the 92nd mark in the first half of the game, he's now there, White's at the free throw line. Let's try to think about that. Derek White is just trying to make this a layup drive, and he's like, already, it's not ready. I'll take it in there if he has more. Another free throw coming up here for the Boston Celtics with 137 left to go. And don't forget, we're coming into the nearing the half right now as we have an halftime show coming up with uh, with one of our supports in between the Shad O'Neill, Ernie Johnson, and Kenny DeChuck Smith. Everything will be all the games coming up later. And he will make the first free throw. As the first one coming in, as Sam also checked in for Jason Tatum. Somebody seems to strap by 12. Tyrese Massey. Maxi tries to give over to Batu. And now Joel and B will have it. A solid performance. We'll try to take it back. Mountain for three. And he will take it in there for the outside. 30-43 to 34 is the score. That's why right now he was paid butcher. Here in a one-minute mark of the period. Here's another one for Derek White. Plays a shot. Find Sam Hauser. Now he has it over again to Peyton Butcher. Just one minute left to remain in the second quarter. And Brown makes the three. What a number to take here. That's 11 points. It was just unexpected. How could this happen right now with Jalen Brown if he knows how to make a three quarter? Now Maxi up. Oh, Tillman Senior makes that projection. You better believe on him. Tillman Senior is going to get that ball out of your hand. And now it's Buddy Hill. He checked in for the Bias Harris with under a minute left to go in the first half of the game. He goes for three and will sink the triple. As another one for Nicholas Platoon. He makes that one with the assist. And now here's Peyton Bridger. Peyton Bridger's over again, finding Tillman Senior. Senior has an hour over the end of Jalen Brown. Jalen Brown now has it over again to Tillman Senior. Senior up, the layup, off the target, and it's Reed with the rebound. And now Tyrese Maxi will have it over in the other side of the zone. Try to pick it up, and a layup drive will break it up in for Tyrese Maxi. 
Number two player makes it in. 46 39 is the score. And now here's Sam Alonso. Sam Alonso tries to give over to Young Butcher. Over now to Derek White, and he has it over to get to Brown. Brown, being a shot, now finds Pritchard. Pritchard in for the two, and he will sink it in for a double. Five points. Another bucket made here for Derek White, and we've reached the end of the half. Last touch puts up by two by Gina Brown. And one last change for the six versus now Cameron Payne checked in for Tyrese Maxi. This is shot, and he this the three. That ends the first half, 48 to 39 is the score. What are we playing? It's a lucky one to make the start. And that's what takes it in here for all. And I'll send you over to Ali LaForce. She's standing by course side, but unfortunately, the time is up. Let's see what you have to say for Ali LaForce. I mean, we're, you know, we're just trying to play with pace, you know, trying to dominate on the defensive end, get rebounds, uh, make it tough. Pace is key, it's back to you. Okay, Ali, thank you so much. Half time's on. See you later. The 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hello, basketball fans. What a pleasure it is to bring you into the 2K studios again. Ernie Johnson, Shaquille O'Neal, Kenny the Jet Smith. It was all Jason Tatum in the first quarter. He ended up with 15 points and two rebounds. Taking a look at the Celtics, Jack, what do you think? Well, they show a lot of discipline in the offensive end. It's not about getting quick shots, it's about getting a good shot. And if you want to know how that approach is working, just check out their free And Kenny, your take on Philadelphia. Well, they have to improve their defense. Guys were getting burned on the front. They went for the hand up, and my man used to say, hand down, man down. Oh, you gotta get that free help. That pretty much covers everything. Jack, you think they played their best? No way, no way. And that's going to do it for us here. The second half of action is coming your way. You've been watching the 2K Sports Halftime Show. And we welcome you back here at Boston Arena from TD Garden. We're ready to start the third quarter. As you take a look at Jason Tatum, he has been like on the process to start things over. And he's been really dumping it out. Yeah, always got to say what he is. He's been like a dominating. From veteran from University of Duke. Yeah, let's make him proud now. If he does more. We start the third quarter. Tyrese Maxi, he's with on the other side of it. And right now Tobias Karras. He's also with by Derek White. Yes. And push up for Zingas. And it's Craig Pritchard. Drew Rolliday with the ball. And Jason Taylor. He's also with Tyrese Maxi. Managed cross from here is Kyle Lowry on Pritchard. Van Uber is on White. Then Porzingis is on OMB and Tatum is on Tobias Harris. Here's Tatum for the two and the triple right tumble range again. 17 points for Jason Tatum. The team comparison must have been having a lot of difficulty range, but not for long. He did not get it. Three. Call Larry makes a three pointer. Now back to Holiday, he's very right over again. Finding over to Brayden Butcher. Brayden Butcher to the layup. Solid D by, by Kyle Lowry. Kyle Lowry, he's in the middle right now. Finding a cut in. A pass off to, pay, to Kyle Lowry. Watching here. Darius Maxi. Looking for some switches here. And here's a reaching foul called on Derek White. With under seven minutes going by in his third quarter. Now it's Jalen Brown. He checks in for Megan Pritchard. Now with a new setup change back to 35. New side is Maxi. Three for Harris. And that misses again. And Joel Embiid. Oh, that slams it dunked down. They're cutting it down by three. By four. And here's another one for Girali. He finds again to get out for Zingas. Looks again to White. White. Trying to look over again to Brown. And Brown. Over around Uber. And good. Brown does it again. He has 13 points. Well, they still have what he has to do. He's got to make a long drive and to make it count. 
Leaves the three for Harris. And he misses again. And it's Porzingis back the other way to Brown. Brown. Trying to hold on. Now it's a rebound by Tyrese Maxey. Maxey. Over again, Lowry for three. And hits a triple again. Time on call by Celtics. A very six minutes to go. You know what happens now? I always see foul though. He's trying to flex it out. He's supposed to have that one in there. He's trying to make that play. Oh, man, he's right. Really, really on the roll. They wanted to bring it in for game six, so I, I don't know if this will happen. Well, let's look at something, Sandler. I think my team might be lucky. You sure do? You make it that with your team lucky? I think that would be a great way to happen. Playoffs and two-day sports is brought to you by State Park. Let it be State Park is there. American Ex Express. Don't let life without. And by AT&T 5G. Connecting changes everything. Changes right now as they are making some changes in. As all the five groups are back on the court. And here's Shirley, he will start it off. Puts it over, not finding anything to White. White will give it over to Drew Holiday. Looking for some motion. Here's Tato with a triple for three. That's yeah, so good. Number three pointer misses off for the Boston Celtics. And here's Kyle Lowry, he will try to loop it around. I see nobody to cover. And he makes a triple, and they're putting it back into a tie this game. Well, close call. He said, I have that one in there, and that has to be a lot of change on They can't let that be a mess. All of a sudden, because nobody is willing to get it off to the wall. Tightly, man. And here's Brown, finishing off with a two. And that's good. Jalen Brown with a number two pointer, 15 points in the game with five minutes. You know, Jalen Brown is going to make that one a lot of tricky zones. 15 points in this game, he's really going to make that one. And here's a chance. Oh, I think Brazilius wants to have that block already. And here comes Derek White. Off to try it and almost made it in. No bucket in one for the Celtics. Maxi with his first personal foul. And we first team foul for the Sixers. Well, they're just doing a little bit on too much on for Ben. I mean, you're just trying to let the ball get out of you. He was a wacky. I mean, I don't know if that's going to happen. Another trip to the free throw line will be the Boston Celtics with under five minutes left to remain in the third quarter. Well, he's really wanting to get in there. Derek White is just trying to like get that one in there for all as soon as it better as he can. So he's got to have that one in there in his mind. First free throw comes in for Derek White. Now a new changeup as Al Horford will check in for Christophe Porzingis. Sixers draw by four. Here's Maxi. Right over to end of Tobias Harris. He's watching inside, trying to get out to Joel B. And oh, I don't think it wasn't a rejection. Not a slam dunk, but that was still clean. Well, I'm not sure how that happened. That must have been like the whole bump bump. He said, whoops, he looks like he just had that ball back. I mean, that must have been happening. What's going on? Well, it might be a little change, but I don't know if it's going to be taking it in here, but he's going to try to have that one other little switch off in between. And here's a three. Draw it up. It's the three-pointer on the outside, and it's Maxi with the ball. Looks it in. Lowry. Lowry has it over to get back to Harris. Trying to give off. Uber Jr. for three. And he misses again, another three-quarter misses off by the Sixers. He's over now to Derek White. 
Derek White. Step number two. It's good. Derek White with eight points in this game. Back to a four point lead. Well, they just really like battling, huh? I mean, these are good competitions out there. I mean, just keep it alive if you can. Solid D by Al Wolford, and now he has it over again. Back to Jason Tata. Tata, here's Al Wolford. Finish is off. Nice scoop and roll as Al Horford has nine points. And Jason Tatum with the assist. You know, Jason Tatum is like a big man. He is like, what a playoff. And this inbound is just keep on coming. Time on call by the Sixers with only 3.15 left to go in the third quarter. Well, everybody's loving it now. What a big year. Al Horford finishing scoop off drive. Does have it all it takes. Now that's what it does happen now. I mean, they keeps it on, living in, showing the truck. For some upcoming games, we have Game 7. That will be the Lightnings and the Rangers back at the Garden. As we're ready to see things up here, back the other side right now, as we have another matchup coming underway. And following along with the next game, the first look of a sneak peek of the Nuggets versus against the Mavericks at Mile High for the first game in the Western Conference, ready for its matchup on its way right down towards the other side of the fifth seed team versus the first seed team. And then, after that, Game 7 will be the Golden State Warriors and the Edmonton Oilers on its way, as we'll try to see if necessary something happens with another change on the game side. So that will be if necessary, and that changes it. And now we're going to move in some substitutions in between as Nicholas Batum is back on the court. And he's right now on the other side of it with D. Anthony Melton. And then Paul Reed. And finally we have it across on the other side is across this camera pane. Three players checked out as well for Tillman Senior and Tina moves into the small board. Here's a drive up in the way, and goes in. Jason Tatum with 19 points, 62-56 to score. Everybody loves to high fly him. Jason Tatum is a big zero on the moon. Three two fouls called again on Derek White. That's the second personal foul. There's a team foul called on to Boston Celtics. 2.45 left to go in the third quarter. As right now they're looking for someone to help. He's over now again to Reed inside the middle and solid D puts up. Trying to put it back in there as Paul Reed will have a number two pointer. Close game in so far and now it's Holiday with the ball finally again to Derek White. Here goes another one. Oh, big break down here for the Sixers as Derek White puts it over two. They're just trying to just get that one forceful in there. I mean, they really are knocking it out. Three for here, and it's good from the outside, and this one's number two quarter. They're back down by four. And now here finds White. Here's another one. He's fouled. This time it's the Anthony Melton with the second personal foul and their second team foul on Philadelphia when they're in two minute marks in the third. Team foul. At the line, Derek White. It's the first free throw. And he gets the second free throw for Derek White. Now the Sixers are trailing by six. Just only two minutes left to remain in the third quarter. Cameron Payne trying to open up. Nice steal for three. And he doesn't hit the other triple again. Looks like they're not just doing shooting well. They're missing it either. Can't let that one go in by. Here's White. Finds over again. Here's another one for Drew Holiday. He finds it over to the table. Oh! I don't know what he was thinking. But he must have that dunk in there. Tatum, wow! I was just really nice, and I think that reverse 
with Jason Tatum, decided to do it again, and then Iron Wolf puts it in with Jason Tatum, he has 23 points. Showing the crowd in. And Drew Holiday with the assists. Now they're bullying it out. They'll solo by 10. I mean, now they're just letting it keep it in there. Here's a three for the two. And another miss puts up by Philadelphia Sixers. And a deep pass now finds Jason Tatum. He will try to reset things over now finding again a Horford with under a minute to go. Back now to Holiday. The screen for Horford. He's in the move for the layup. And he goes in. Drew Holiday with five points in this game, up by 12. They have expected more now. They're just looking like, like they're just trying to keep it on there. Out, and they really have to make that one a lot of hard transition to go in for a number of different look. You know, this offense is not really like picking up the, the gaming effort, but it's been like already getting over this to see with the eye vision. That's because what they always do for. They just need to make this one a clear look at the vision. Try to find some open players that are open. But don't let him take away if they have it. Jason Tatum, another drive! Oh, he's on a roll! What a takeover! For the Celtics, the king of the heart. Jason Tatum for the Celtic man does it again. Well, he's a little Celtic to bring in there. I just say Jason Tatum. He's like my family. And Jason Tatum decided to go for the buzz beater. And it misses off the rim, the end of the third quarter. So that is it. 74 and 60 is the score. And it looks like look, they're ready to get to the final quarter. 63 is the score. And this time, we'll get a little quick break and get ready to go to fourth quarter and game five. It's do or die for the Sixers. All right, let's have a moment now to reveal the State Farm Assistive Begin. You know, I was just always seeing it before, I and mean, that's great. But that is where I just saw that one coming in. When that pass puts it up, I always give it to Jalen Brown, and he's been like a king of the ball. Three quarters are finished. We are down to the final quarter, and we're ready to go. Drew Holiday is on final hour. Jalen Brown, he's with Tyrese Maxey. Porzingis is with Joel Embiid. Bennett's Forkford on Tobias Harris and Uwe Jr. on Jason Tatum. Now he finds the dip over again to all Forkford. The three for KP. Deep range off the rim. Let's go back to Tobias Harris. Decided to give out to Embiid, and Embiid sends that ball down. And by Harris with the assist, he has eight points in this game. Now, they're never going to let that one go in there. I wouldn't say to all of you, he's going to like try to like get that out of here. It's not turning out to all well. Now he runs past the holiday and over it again to Jalen Brown with a drive and he makes it in. Plus shot makes it up and it drew Jalen Brown at 17 points in this game. Just look at that. Jalen Brown really have to feel like you are in pressure for tonight. You might have to put it in there if you got another chance. And Joel Embiid's got that bucket in. 76 to 67 to score. With under seven minutes to start in the fourth. Jalen Brown gives it again to Porzingis. Now finds again to Holiday. Holiday gives it again to Porzingis. Porzingis on the two. Traces in. And a number two pointer makes it in as Porzingis has got five points. You know, the look of a way for your Porzingis is really like getting into a piece of it. It's a, it's a hard part of the money. It's never going to like slow that down right away. But I wouldn't say this would have been easier enough. But they're trying to get this one over to bring a new shut up, set up change. And they got to make sure they have it with the better ball in hand away in that moment. After rejection here by Al Horford. Britain Bridge is checked in as he sits on the court. And now he's right. Finds again to Drew Holiday. Looks again to Peyton to Porzingis. Peyton Bridge will decide to deliver it. Finds Brown. Watching the cut. Over with the two. And good! Jalen Brown looks to 19 points. A lot of field goal range in between right now. 80 to 67. Well, you're just really doing well. I mean, you got to give a credit. I think the Knicks and the Celtics, I think it's going to be 
it could be true right now to Eric Glover as we have Porzingis. Again to Brown. Brown. Puts it across. Around the league boy Jr. and this one goes in. Brown's got 21. 82 to 67 to score. He just really loved it. I know you could say that, Tyler, but that's what I've always been improving on. We were really loving the fans and all the crowd favorite Wild Eyes and TD Bart Arena. I love this scene. This is the best show ever. It's a great scene to have that one go on some ball play moments. I mean, this sports is turning out to be great. Exactly true. And now here's another one for Butcher. Over with the layup, and it's good. Well, just one way, it may not go, I mean, they will let that one go by. Harris, 40 outside, try to put it in, and it's rejected by Porzingis! Porzingis gets his first block of the game. Richard now finds Tatum. Tatum, looks again to Porzingis, with a failing follow shot, and it's rebounded by MB. Six are trying to get to work, and Tatum has it back. Here comes Peyton Bridger. will now give it over to Porzingis up with the drive, and it goes in. Porzingis got a seven points, and Pritchard with the assist. I'm just going out that, and you're now just really saying, Pritchard, how excellent are you? That chase is over every day to get that one in there. Oh, and they were blocked by Porzingis. Got a little piece of it, and now here comes Peyton Bridger. And he finishes up with the layout drop. Time out call, but it's a new Sixers. A is an 88 to 69 score. Well, that's what happens there. Yeah, I think the Sixers might be out of here. They're just flying. They love me. It's great to have that. Lee Green. Game coming up for you as we have the next one coming in as we have the Heat. They're ready as Jimmy Butler is ready to face against Giannis and Kupo for the next game in game five. Uh, five serve got four, that'll be the next part of the game. And as we send you back to hockey on the other side for the conclusion of the first part of the game, as the Golden Knights are facing against the Edmonton Oilers in Vegas at the T Mobile Arena. Ready to have that matchup in for you. That'll be all the game, and the next game will be underway only on the Summit Beast. That's going to be at 7.30 o'clock p.m. here for your next game. So you don't want to miss that one out here. That will be all right here on this game. And now we have some time for your new balance player to gain, Jason Taylor. Jason Taylor was really like the biggest guy you ever seen, like playing it on the playoff field motion. This amount is like the greatest to our heart. And just to think about now, I mean, Jason Taylor is really proud of it. Showing all that respection, he's been trying to keep that one out of here to the side. And he is like a legendary keeping it in. That's what Jason Tatum, he's trying to make his way in here going in now, and he's trying to have another bucket in, looking for another chance to get in back for the second round and be put the team up for the win. And here's Tobias Harris, he's inside his own, gives it over to Maxi for three. Misses again. We're seeing this now find it again to Holiday, and now has it over again, finding the pass over to Brown. And Brown finds it over to Richard. Richard, pulls it back over again on the side, and now finds it again to Porzingis. Porzingis finds it over again to Jalen Brown. With a finish drive, this one has been stopped, and Harris with the bump. Ball, back the airway again, it's Lowry. And back again to Kyle Lowry. Lowry again, again to Harris. Brown's got it covered. Watching out for the outside, and it will be knocked out off the rim. Butcher now finds again, and he goes out of bounds. Now, Kelly Oubre Jr. trying to pull a man on him, but he just went too soon. Got slipped already. I mean, that must have been bumped over. Didn't know. Tyrese Maxey checked out, and Buddy Hills checked in. And now here's the chain. Choice, fade a shot, three for Neal. Misses again from the outside. Oh boy. I see it everywhere right now. Yeah, I mean, I don't know what's going on. But hopefully they won't take it in there as soon as they have. Larry with the ball as a stolen by Drew Holiday. Harris now finds Larry. Larry for the outside. Now fighting again to Uber Jr. Uber Jr. now has to begin to draw and beat. 
Joel Embiid trying to roll it up, and the two-pointer misses again. Tatum's got his fifth rebound of the night. Off to give it to Jalen Brown. And a run drive. Fair to make that one even up. He had that one to finish his prophetic athletic on his better driving performance. Now I had that I was going to say, J.B. That was a, like a hard one and that was some dunks. Now for long, take it from here. They were laying up the stadium for Tobias Harris. Two minutes left to remain in the fourth quarter of the game. Back again to Porzingis. Porzingis finds it again, now to White. White slides back in for the two. And then it is by Boston Celtics. And Lowry with the ball. Now on the cover, gives him beat. And he loses the ball. Jason Tatum ready to take a slam. Up on a shot, and good! Jason Tatum with 27 points! They're letting the crowd go wild right now. Jason Tatum needs to like a smoke out. And his pass. Kubo Jr. for three. That misses again as Porzingis will have it now back to Tatum. And now he finds Holiday. Holiday with the finishing drive, and this one puts it in. A sweep in for seven points as Jason Tatum with the assist. You just really have to know that. Drew Holiday has been trying to like get that one out of here. But that must have been another takeover. If you have the right moment to completely go for the do-over, you have to make sure you have that one try to make a layup on his hand motion and some shots with that wrist and strength. That's a foul call here, and right now in start Jalen Brown. That's his first personal foul on the count of bucket and one for the Sixers. It's now Ellie Kelly Oubre Jr. checking checking in for one shot. All the four players are checked off the court. As four players are checked on the court, Batum, Reed, Melton, D. Melton, and right now we have it across as Cameron Payne. We miss another free throw for the Sixers. Here's Payne. Now finally getting to White. White finds again to Porzingis. Porzingis finds White. Over now, finding an open look for Tillman. Tillman, for a step back, and a two-pointer doesn't hit off the mark. Blue Jr. Over now to Payne. Over now to Heel. 43 seconds left to remain in the fourth quarter. And that misses again. Well, they're shooting it like they're not even doing well. I mean, looks like it's the Celtics. They were finally making their way to the second round. Here's a pass off to Porzingis with under 30 seconds left to remain in the fourth. Porzingis trying to hand it over. Here's Peyton Bridger for two. And that will be it for the, for the Celtics. One last chance for the Sixers. Uwe sliding it back. And Mountain for three. And he will sink the triple A. Three points. And that's going to do. 94 to 77 is your final score. The Celtics move on to the second round. They face against the other team of the all against the New York Knicks. Great game this far, and I always say, lucky luck. Well, we That's what happens now. We're going to turn it over and make the big win for the loud game. Now it's time to go over to Out of the Force. Here she is. Talk about the confidence you have tonight. I'm just trying to continue to show people what I can do and continue to get better. Um, it's a long journey, it's a process. I still got a long way to go and a lot to learn, so I'm going to just keep going up. It's all part of the journey. Thanks, Jalen. All right, Ali, thank you so much. And that's going to wrap it up. Tyler Peace, along with Boomer and Clover, this has been a presentation of the NBA Playoffs and 2K Sports. Thanks for joining with us, and I'll see you all again for the next game. Peace out, folks. Until now. Bye. Alright, thank you guys. It's right now the first part of the game is complete for NBA. Let's have a look at the total statistics. 67 career field goals for Boston Celtics. 39 for about Philadelphia 76ers. Then it was 100% with the Boston Celtics. Turning out to be great. Then 13-52 was the fast break points and, and, and another one points in the paint. 
for the Boston Celtics. Second chance and punch points for 16 and 30 for Philadelphia Sixers. Assists for 31, Boston Celtics. Seven for Philadelphia on offensive rebounds, but 34 for defensive rebounds for Boston Celtics. Four steals was the Sixers. Five blocks for Boston Bruins. Both guys have received the points off, but one of the turnovers was a little bit less. 14 fouls for Philadelphia, five dunks performed for Philadelphia Sixers. 23 for Boston Celtics, and 16-29 is your time of possession for the Celtics. Well done for them as they move on to play against the New York Knicks. Now time for three star players of the game, as I send it over now to Silver Spoon. Alright, thank you so much. Third star player of the game will be starting things off, as I have Marcus Maxi, 17 points with 2 rebounds and 4 assists and 1 steal, 7 out of 12 field goals, 3 3-pointers, and only one dunk is made with 28 performance effort. Excellent to take, but their team will be back again for a new season. Now for number 2. This round is going to keep on rolling in down toward the lineup as I have another new player in possession. It's Jalen Brown. 13 23 points, 1 rebound, 3 assists, 1 block is made, and it was 11 8 and 13 field goal range. 1 3 pointer and 2 3 pointers were coming in there, a little between. 1 dunk made, 29 performance effort, as put it up here for the Celtics. They're doing really well. And now, for your number one star player of the game, I'm going to give it over to a New Balance player of the game. This all goes at one and bigger moment, Jason Tatum. With 29 points, 5 rebounds, 3 assists, 1 steal, 12 out of 15 field goals. Then, one three-pointer was given with three three-pointers, but it was 33 performance effort for the Boston Celtics with one dunk. He's been like a, ma a magician so far, just keeping it in there at the right timing. Alright, that's going to do good for now, and I hope everybody's enjoying right this moment. If you're sticking up for the second game, we've got the Bucks and the Heat on the other side coming soon. Stay tuned right now, the game will be starting underway at 6.30pm for game number 5 of Pfizer Forum. See you later everybody for a while as the NBA playoffs on 2K Sports Style. Paintbrush and Silver Spoon Gun. See you next time. Have a great night in Boston. If you don't, if you don't, somebody will.